Hello friends, today we are going to read Kadogu Changed His Life. The author is Godfrey Mishomari. The illustrator is Ayub Makota. The translator is Magdalena Cooper and the publisher is Room to Read. So let's read Kadogu Changed His Life. So who is Kadogu? Kadogu is this boy in this picture who seems to be reading this book with his friends. How did he change his life? Let's see. My name is Kadogu. Last year, I ranked last in my class. My classmates laughed at me and told me that I will always be behind. So here in this picture, you can see Kadogu. He looks sad and his classmates are laughing at him because he came last in class and they are laughing at him. Our teacher said, Kadogu, why don't you think about why you came last in the class? So the teacher is asking Kadogu to not be sad, but to think about why this happened, why he came last. I thought hard, why did I come in last? I decided to observe the other students and see what they did. Aha! They read books. They take notes. They study. So, Kadogu took the advice of his teacher and decided to think about why he kept coming last in the class. And when he looked at his other classmates, they read and took notes and studied. And that's how they did not come in last. They succeeded. So this is something that Kadogu has not been doing so far. And so what is he going to do? Let's see. I told my mother, mom, I would like to do better in class. You can do better, Kadogu. She said, you just need to balance your time. There is time for study, for play, and for helping out with chores. So Kadogu goes to speak with his mother and he tells her, I want to do better. And his mother tells him, look, you can do this. There is nothing stopping you. You just need to make sure that you are able to keep your time in balance. How much time you spend in playing and how much time you spend in studying and how much time you spend in helping at home with chores. There is time for all of it. You just need to plan it and balance it. That evening, I grabbed my books and studied. My sister also helped me with my work. And here, Kadogu's sister is helping him study. Mother said, read books, do your homework, and ask your teachers questions so that they can help you. So Kadogu is now promising to do what his mother is saying. You see here, they are holding their little fingers like this. That looks like he is promising her to read, study hard, do his homework and ask his teachers questions. The more I studied, the more my reading skills improved. I continued working hard with my friends, Matata and Jenny. So as Kadogu studied more and more, his 
skills improved, how he was able to read, how much he was able to read got better. And he continued working hard with his friends. I became courageous enough to approach our teacher when I had questions. The teachers were happy with my progress. Well done, Kadogu, they said. So once the boy got confident and became more courageous, now he knows a little bit, he has some questions. So he started asking his teacher his questions and his teachers were looking at him and thinking, wow, he's getting better. He is getting interested in his studies and his books and he is asking questions to learn more. One day we had a test in the class. When the results were out, I was no longer the last. Hooray! And here is his teacher reading out the results of the test. And this time, Kadogu is not the last anymore. And he is happy. I was the happiest boy in the class. So I can do it. I told myself. I decided to work harder than ever before. So what happened next? Well, he used to be last. Now he is not last anymore. But there is still more to improve. He doesn't have to be in the middle also. He can go even higher. So he decided to work harder. At the end of the term, the teacher read out the results. The third in rank was Matata. The second was Jenny. Guess who was first? And so what happened at the end of the term? The teacher gave them the results and his friends were second and third. So who do you think was first? The first is Kadogu. So our friend Kadogu was first in the class. The teacher gave me books and a bag as a prize. Kadogu, do you have anything to tell your friends? She asked. Yes, I said. You can do better too if you want. I was the last. Now I am the first. It's all because I worked hard and had help from my friends. So his teacher gave him a prize when he came first. Books and a bag. And Kadogu tells his friends that you can do it too. Look at me. I was last and I worked hard and got help from my friends. And now I'm first. So nothing is stopping you from becoming better. When I went home, my mother saw my happy face and immediately knew I had good news. Kadogu, you are all smiles, she said. Do you have something to tell me? Yes, I am first in my class. Look at my nice new bag. Look at the books. From now on, I'll always work hard. So what happened when he went home? Kadogu was smiling so wide and his mother asked him, what is this smiling all about? What happened? And Kadogu said, 
guess what i came first i got a prize i got a nice bag and books and he says that from now on he will always work hard i hope you enjoyed this book thank you the difficult words in this story are observe watch carefully skill the ability to do a task well courageous brave not scared try these questions write down in your own words how kadogu changed his life what do you think is more important working hard or coming first explain your answer